Hello! Oh, it's been almost seven years since I did my first Sun and Aries video. If you want to check that out, I recommend you checking that out if you haven't uh, seen it before. But yes, let's begin. Um, where to start? I think the, the best parts about Aries energy or Sun in the first house, it functions the same, is the there's so much goodness. Uh, where to begin? Let's go with that. There's there's such a a beautiful light in their eyes there's such a beautiful you can see who they are where they're at what they're thinking i mean to some degree what they're feeling by just looking at them and that can be it's so different from really any other sun sign even the other fire energy individuals because it's such an immediate beautiful in, in the best way aries is said to represent the the toddler of the zodiac the the child the the innocence the openness the just the the prime goodness of of existence of consciousness and i think that's absolutely true whether they're uh literally a child or about to pass on an old age Aries individuals have that that spark that is so so purifying and so powerful and so beautiful and sometimes it can get taken advantage of by other people who are caught up in their own troubles or just are selfish or they they, they take that Aries goodwill for granted um, and it's good to be mindful of that that not everybody has the purest of intentions like a, a good Aries like a, a wise and mature Aries who isn't just caught up in self because of course there is that challenge every every energy has its gifts and its challenges uh, we'll talk about that later but you know even in that case when an Aries is taken for granted or taken advantage of they have such strength and such power that they're able to lift themselves back up and I think that's one of the most inspiring things about this energy is it definitely gets it, it, it. It's a. It's like a cannonball of energy. It it goes in a direction and it, and it's gonna keep going until it hits something. And that's like, sometimes you hit that wall and it can be difficult. And it's like, ah, fuck, why, damn, you know, it, it can be really difficult naturally. Life is difficult for all of us, but for Aries individuals, it's like I had my goal. I was going after my goal, full speed, full force, you know, like you do as an Aries. And I didn't make it. But that's what's beautiful is you're able to then pick yourself up and to refire, reignite your fire of inspiration and of purpose, if not immediately, pretty pretty soon thereafter. Whereas other individuals, other other energies might take years, they might call it quits altogether and just give up on their dreams, their hopes, their aspirations you're able to with this energy just say all right i'm going for it fuck it i'm just going for it and i think that's one of the most powerful things is the aries path in life is kind of like here okay not quite there here not quite there here and of course earlier in life it's like here okay no over there and you know and i really i'm a gemini so i'm i'm like 10 different directions at once but that's what's beautiful is as time goes on as an aries you're able to narrow down which direction your life purpose is and i think that's one of the most important things as an aries um for you to keep in mind and for you to make sure that you're in tune with is what is your life purpose and it'll change naturally as per specific things of now i want to do this now i want to do that it's it's okay that's good you're naturally a warrior type energy in general it's important for you to test yourself to challenge yourself to move forward and when you get really good at something either be able to take that to the next level but of course some some activities won't allow you to take that to the next level it's you'll hit a certain wall and it's like okay gotta do something different um i still like this direction though okay let's try over there okay cool so that's important to keep moving forward and keep testing yourself and keep challenging yourself um that's when you're gonna get your biggest thrill out of life it won't be from a relationship it won't be from anything else in life and ultimately that's true for everybody but you really embody that you inspire people to remember that of oh that's right my relationship with myself my relationship with the universe my fulfillment of my potential and having life purpose that is the real meaning of life is it's not about 
pondering and pontificating and coming to a philosophical answer. I mean, that can be helpful and for certain sun signs, that's really interesting. But for all of us and for you especially, we don't really have time to ask what the meaning of life is when we're living life. And I mean, what that's the meaning, you know, is to do it. We're here. We have this energy. We are that's how our bodies function in the first place. You put fuel in, you do things, you need to put more fuel in, you need to rest and recharge and you know, whatnot. It, it really comes down to we are born to do things. And especially as an Aries, that's one of your best gifts is just continuing to move forward in life. And again, I think you'll be really surprised if you aren't, haven't been surprised already that certain people they just don't have that drive. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's okay to each their own. Again, you know, cancer individuals, uh, not to generalize too much, of course, but certain, certainly that energy is a little bit more about, okay, I want to stay familiar. I want to stay protective of my, my family. And of course you love your family. It's not to say that you don't, but it's, it's not quite as daring. It's not quite as, not quite as bold and, you know, and, and cancer for that perspective would say, yeah, well, Aries is reckless. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's fair too. Everyone has their own perspective and it is good to keep that in mind to not be too reckless, not be too bold, you know, in the sense of making sure to develop patience. That's a key thing in this lifetime. And that's, what's beautiful. We can all learn from each other, all these different energies. Um, and I think, whereas other people learn from you, how to be inspired, how to be in the thrill of life and to challenge yourself and to push yourself and to, grow and become stronger and and wiser and more mature through just ad adventure and doing it and seeing how things go and you don't know until you know and you don't know until you're you're doing it uh, or you're not doing it you know if you hit a wall and it's like okay this isn't working um on the other hand that's something that's really beautiful too and really important i think for aries is to not be too proud like all of the fire signs you know like also leo and sagittarius um and I think because Aries is the cardinal fire sign, it's all about action. It's about starting things. It can sometimes, um, sometimes the ego can get in the way of, of not, of, of being able to listen to others and, and focusing too much. No, but I can't ask advice because that's, that, that's me admitting defeat. I got to figure it out by myself. It's good to keep in mind that ultimately life is a team effort <laughs> it really is we all need each other we all that's why i love doing readings is because i love to get to know all sorts of different individuals and different perspectives and i learn with every single one and for all of us that's a key thing so i think that's important is don't think it's it's a matter of of it's not failure if you're asking for help or if you're asking for guidance indeed that's one of the most that's one of the most beneficial things for you because once you're on the right path you're unstoppable but sometimes you need the help of a Gemini or, or an air sign or, or maybe a water sign if you need to be more in touch with your, your softer emotions, your more vulnerable emotions and understanding how the past is in relating uh, uh, to the present and whatnot. Or an earth sign to be a little bit more practical and not just focus on like, okay, yes, yes, yes. It's great that you're excited about these three different things, but do this and then do that and then do that. You know, we all need that help in life. And I think that's and that support and encouragement. I think that's important is to be willing to be open to that because then you'll avoid you'll jump over the the challenges of being an aries which can be very much self-centered self-focused so just like all the fire signs and every energy has its its challenge you know i'm not picking on you um it's important to know about the challenges and again i i could talk about my challenges for hours and how i'm working through them how i have worked through them how i will work through them for those which i i, I see in the future um so I think that's key is be open, be humble, keep striving, do what you love to do in life, find your passion, go for it. Don't let other people tell you it's not possible or you can't do it. They don't fucking know. They don't know. And especially for somebody as passionate and as driven as you are and who's able to, with your feelings, be guided to a higher reality, a higher plane of consciousness, it's, you're not going to be able to describe to other people necessarily. I mean, it's great to try. And if you have other energies that can help you do so, great. But you know, ultimately the proof is in the pudding. It, it all comes down to the actions. The actions speak louder than words. So allow yourself to just do what feels right to you. And again, as long as it's not hurting other people. And if other people don't like it or if they whine, that's not hurting them. They're just being bitter. Uh, now it's good to, again, as I was saying, though, it's good to consider other people's perspectives though. Always to keep an open mind. And to learn from other people. And I think that's when you'll be at your best. Is when you're listening to yourself. You're being guided by yourself. You're encouraging yourself. And validating yourself. And empowering yourself first and foremost. 
but you're still open to learning from other people in this this thing called life and this team effort. So there's so much more to talk about, but um, yeah, I want to keep this video pretty succinct. If you like, of course, a reading, I do readings all the time. The information for that is in the about section of this YouTube video. And I'm working on a project right now. Maybe by the time you watch this, it will already be completed. But um, I'm working on a reading that you'll be able to just click and uh, and you'll be able to get your, your full natal chart. Uh, your sun sign, of course, Aries with 2,000 words of an interpretation written by myself and nothing copy pasted. It's all just coming from inspiration. I've been doing this for eight years now professionally and uh, I love it and I've learned so much and I want to share that with people. And no matter how long a video I do, there's still going to be more stuff that I just I can't quite share in video form, just how it functions. Uh, plus, it's nice to get it all in, in text form, be able to refer back to it easily. So if you want to check that out, again, it's it's not for those who are watching like right as I make this, it's not there yet. Um, you can pre-order it, it's totally fine. Um, but yes, otherwise, if you're watching this later on, hey, maybe it's already there, woo, time travel. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to see your full chart, rising sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and and you'll be, and Midheaven, and you'll uh, get 2,000 words for the vast majority of that. It's something like 20,000 words. I've been working on this a while. Um, so yes. But in any case, I, I truly hope this has been helpful for you. Um, there's there's usually so many YouTube comments. I, I love to answer comments. So, so if you have a question or a comment or anything, please, as always, I hate to be one of those annoying YouTubers. Like, oh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> so if people are robots, fuck that. But if you have anything of interest, you feel inspired to say something, please do. Um, and I'll, I'll seek to, to answer any questions I can in the comments. And again, I'm always free for readings. Uh, well, not always free, but generally I'm pretty, that's what I love to do. Um, any last minute stuff for Aries? Again, follow your passion. Know that you're stronger than even you know. You're capable of things that you, you don't even know you're capable of. And you'll find that as time goes on and you're going in the right direction of what you're really passionate about, you're going to just keep building muscle, whether it's physical muscle, mental muscle, emotional muscle, spiritual muscle, financial muscle. You're going to keep growing. And that's the key is just to keep growing. And relationships, great. This, that, everything else in life, great. But make sure you're on your life purpose and everything else will work itself out. Infinite love to you, my friend. Namaste.